Introducing to you first, fighting tonight out of the red corner. He's wearing black with white and weighed in at 11 stone, 13 pounds. A native of Albania, he is now fighting out of Bayern, Munich, Germany, and brings a professional record consisting of 27 wins, three defeats, two draws, with 20 of his 27 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the number one ranked super middleweight contender in the world by the WBO, Shafat Isufi. And his opponent across the ring in his main event, fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He's wearing white with blue and weighed in at 12 stone. Hailing from Hatfield, Hertfordshire, England. He is undefeated with 27 wins. 13 wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the Great reception for Saunders. And now Marcus McDonnell to instruct both fighters. I spoke you both in the dressing room, not I expect. And like professors at all times, I pay my instructions. What's your age? Keep it going. Any questions? Let's go to work. Billy Joe Saunders, who proudly walked in with the Gypsy Roma flag alongside him. Tyson Fury and so many of his friends and family at ringside. Saunders self-styled and promoted as the King Send of out. Hearts. We're in Hertfordshire here in Stevenage, open air at the Lamex Stadium, and now he looks to deliver. And he has to deliver as well, John. Let's not forget that. No, not just winning, I don't think, is important for, for Billy tonight. It's, it's looking good. So he set the standard against against David Lemu you know, over in Canada. He set the standard. They set the bar very high there, and and and, that, and that's the benchmark for every performance for now for Billy Joe Saunders. And just the one fight since there against Charles Adamu, a marking time fight, a nothing fight really, following on from a performance which promised so much. Still, he craves the big marquee fights, but first he has to go through this and look good doing it. Yeah, it does. It's, everything's stacked in his favour. He got the faster hands, the faster feet, that, that what would seem a, a much better boxing brain. That's an acceleration of pace there with the hands there from Saunders. And he's done the right things well. You know, Saunders is known as a boxer. He's taking that centre of the ring, he's using that front foot to put. The Sufi under loads of pressure. The Sufi, who's won his last ten fights, his danger punch is from the right side. The big right hand is one that he can throw with real intent. Says that if he wins tonight, he'll dedicate it to the memory of his father, who died when he was just ten years old. But what a flurry of punches now from Billy Joe Saunders. The hands be really working for Saunders right now. Started off with a lovely right hook over the top of a lazy jab there from a Sufi. And then followed up with a lovely combination, leading with a lead uppercut. Really confident opening from Saunders. Sufi also lost his coach, Graziano Rocky Rakigiani, who died in a road accident in October last year. Got to commit with the shots of Sufi. I know he's afraid to, to get hit on the counter, but at the minute he's just in no man's land, just standing there waiting for punches to be rained down at him. Well, at least he's trying to throw. Defensive, slippery skills of Saunders to be viewed as well. Easily slipping under that attempted left hook counter. Nice and easy so far here for Saunders. Just got to keep that focus.
nothing from a Sufi in this opening round. And it's all Virgil Saunders. 1 0. Perfect start then for Billy Joe Saunders. On the front foot almost immediately. Good boxing, very good boxing. Chef Artisufi. Well, he got the faster hands and the faster feet, so they're no good if you're not going to use them. And he, but he is using them, he's using them intelligently. He's letting his punches go. But he's not staying there and getting over gr too greedy with his work. He's taking a little step back and he's, and he's having a second phase of attacks. And he's showing his class. And if it stays like this, it's going to be an easy night's work for Billy Joe. Impressive opening from Saunders. Sufi, experienced. 32 fights behind him, 27 wins, those 20 knockouts. He needs to find more. Oh, the up, the right uppercut there from Saunders. Well, Sufi, he either got to just quicken his feet, if he, and we are watching tapes of him, he hasn't got the fastest of feet, but he got to get close to the target and rush Saunders, try and get close. Or he's got to try and throw when, when Saunders attacks, he's got to throw when he's throwing and take that risk. But right now, he's doing, he's stuck in no man's land, he's not doing... He's not attacking, he's not really defending properly, and he's just an easy target to hit. And what Saunders is showing is how important the footwork is. Because he's showing how good his footwork is and how poor the footwork of a Sufi is, because he can't attack or get out of the way of the shots. So slippery, Saunders. He needs to start maybe investing in some body shots now, Saunders. Sufi yet to land a meaningful punch. Well, he, he, he's afraid of, he's, he's always afraid to throw a punch because he knows if he throws and he misses, he gets countered quite sharply. So, as you see in there now, so he, he, he knows he can't hit the target. So he's, he's trying to make sure that he's going to, when he throws that punch, it has an effect. All that does, all he makes you tense up and then you, you pull at your shot and it makes it even worse. So he has to relax a little bit. Decide what he's going to do and commit to it fully. At last, he did get in with an attempted right hook as Saunders tried to tee off that left into the body, but no power in it. Sufi, remember, the WBO number one ranked at super middleweight. Saunders, the former middleweight champion. Saunders. Blurringly fast hands. And the sharpness, Barry, reminiscent of that night we watched in Montreal at the end of 2017. It really is. And for all the young young amateurs and pros watching this, he doesn't get too close. He doesn't get his feet too close so he can get, can get tangled up or hold on. The guy can hold on. He keeps that nice, clean distance so he can throw his shots and nothing comes back. Saunders dominating the opening round and dominating the second as well. Well, there's a clear golfing class, isn't there? That's, that's uh, obvious to see right now. The Sufi got to do something a little bit special. So far, so good for Billy Joe Saunders. He's looking on for a 28th straight win, Billy Joe Saunders, the former four-time middleweight world champion, looking on course to become the super middleweight world champion. Remember what I said to you about that rhythm step that he does. When you keep your front foot on him, he can't maintain concentration. He does this. As the rounds go on, he do that more and more, then you can make him pay for it, yeah? Just keep topping him up. When you put a nice combination together, be aware of the throw out of the shell. Just go back to touching him up. Billy Joe Saunders can break him down. The corner, very happy with the way things are going so far. From the corner, I think, and Dillian turns right in the corner there. Just keep doing it, soften him up, wait for him to make a mistake, and then you jump on him. Second out. 
Round three. So the first two rounds comfortably in the bag as they fight for this vacant title, made vacant by Gilberto Ramirez, relinquishing and deciding to move up the formidable Mexican to light heavyweight. So far, he's looked a different class, Billy Joe Saunders. A Sufi needs to land something meaningful and soon. Because uh, what you're right, John. Because what happens when you keep them constantly missing, panic sets in. You start to worry, you're panicking, and, and then you just you just really tense up. All your muscles get tense, and your punches are shorter, and your movements are, are slower. So you need to get some success as quick as he can. I think he needs to rush Saunders if he, if he can do that. And, and, you know, and, and anything you can do, hit him anywhere you can hit him just to get a little bit of success and, and hope Saunders engages with you and gets him a little bit close and, and take that gamble because the way he's going at the minute, he's just getting totally schooled. Oh, oh his legs one. went momentarily there. It's Sufi, looks as they might have taken one around the, around the uh, temple area and he's in trouble here. Saunders is starting to really power on the pressure. Oh, lovely left hand from Saunders. Sufi comes back, tries to land a left hand counter of his own. Saunders says, Is that all you've got? Great uppercut. Yeah, and the move with that after spinning off the front foot was fantastic from Saunders. And again, not taking any silly risk. He got clipped with a little bit of a shot there, Saunders. So going back to the. Just going through the phases again, not getting too. Uh, too drunk on the, on the success he's having. The way a Sufi's legs just went there, I just wonder if he took one on the on the temple because he just momentarily looked as though he completely lost his balance. I think as well because he got like that shell-like defence, and some of these shots he just can't see coming because it sort of blinkers your view in many ways. He needs to have that defence because he can't you know, he can't evade, avoid punches. He needs to block them all, but sometimes it, it sort of, you can't see every punch coming your way. I think it was one he didn't see just made him uh, do a little bit of a jig. Just trying to walk Saunders down, keep those gloves up high until he gets into range. You'll hope that Saunders makes a mistake and capitalise thereafter, but so far had precious little success. Just need to finish that, that combination with the body shot there, did Saunders. Enjoying himself, isn't he? sort of became a career-defining moment so far, a succession of uppercuts and Saunders winning that round comfortably. I think it was a straight. Right, I think it was a straight left hand, right on the right on the pipe. He didn't see it, then it just made his legs wobble, and then Saunders jumped all over him. Yeah, it is really. He's, he's hitting him at will right now. And again, see, just see that little just with the feet there from Saunders, just moves slightly to the right, and then he goes again. It's almost like a like another set, like another attack from a different angle. But he's still on you. Like he hasn't moved back. No one likes a copycat, Saunders, even if you're copying, oh, even if you're copying yourself. That's what it's all about, the WBO Championship belt for the vacant, remember, super middleweight title. Who's going to take it so far? It looks very much as though it's going to be Saunders. Three rounds in the bag by a very big distance. But as we see, I'm not trying to make a case here for a Sufi because it's very difficult to do that. But as we've seen in boxing, you just never know. You've got to keep that concentration levels high at all times. Well, how often have we seen it and watched it, Barry? It only takes yeah, one. One mistake, one slip. And you're not talking about a novice here. This is a man with wins under his belt and proven punch power.
he just, uh, he just doesn't know what to do. I can't really see. <laughs> he's not try he's not moving back trying to lure Saunders onto a shot. He's not trying to be clever. He literally doesn't know whether to go forward or go back. He's, I think he's just stuck and lost. I don't know what the corner are telling him, but I don't know if he has the ability to do anything but this and hope for the best. But at some point, you either got to, you know, you got to bite down on the gumshoe and go for it, or walk away because you know. Asufi's nose reddening. So many of Saunders' punches now thudding into his face. Just looking for one big right hand, maybe, just to equalise, and he's made to miss again and again. One of the best things for me that Saunders is when he throws a punch, when he throws a combination, he pivots on that front foot and he stays close to the target. Just see almost see it there because the ropes are we're blocking the we're blocking the, the movement. He does it so well, and he literally almost stands behind the opponent, so they just they can't fire back. It's one of his best moves. There you go. Crowd have come here, many of them to celebrate Billy Joe Saunders and to give him hero worship. But it's all a little bit subdued in Stevenage right now because Saunders so much in control. You, you've got to be honest, it was on paper, it was always a fight that you couldn't, it was very hard to make a case, as, as, as Richie Woodall said, you know, that everything stacks in the favour of Billy Joe in every, every department. But it's how he, and so the win was almost a given, but it's how he wins. And he's boxing really well so far. He's picking up round after round, and there's another. Well, Chef Asufi is going to have to produce something rather special if he is to deny Billy Joe Saunders this super middleweight world title. It is mightily impressive so far. Yeah. And that unblemished record looks set to continue for Billy Joe. Class so far, a Sufi's corner man, very slow getting out. It's all Saunders. Sufi not in any big bother so far, he's not been visibly shaken well, it, apart from that one got, moment with the straight left hand. He got wobbled, but it's it, it, you know, oh, that's a better from a Sufi there, just commit into it. Oh. He'll turn off the ropes here from Saunders. And, that, and there's the problem. He, he, he decides I'm going to come out and really commit myself to the attacks. And then Saunders just makes him miss way too, more, way too comfortable. Interesting to have a punch count on the number of times that Saunders has made his Sufi miss with those <laughs> big hooks again and again. Look at that. It's fantastic, it really is. Gloves down, hit me if you can. Oh, you can't. It is, it is fantastic, and he has great great natural movement, great vision to Saunders, but also a Sufi hasn't got the fastest hands either. And I think I think you can see him, he sort of loads up and telegraphs some of his shots, so they go there. The only chance he gets close is when they, when Billy's at this sort of range and he's and he's throwing, and a super throws and he gets it. Sometimes he clips Billy. Hey, so much he step away. Uh, I, it's, it's, it's quite obvious. Unless the only the only chance he got is if Billy makes a mistake. To be honest, if Billy switches off and he's got to hit him with something big. Yeah. Well, well, the right hand's made for a southpaw, of course. 
You take that left foot on the outside, you know you've got a right clear gap with the right hand. It is the one danger punch, as I said earlier. He can throw that right hand to Sufi. He's not connected as yet, not with any great power. But that is the danger. Sean is just starting to put a little bit of pressure on him with the feet again now, like he did in the, in the early round. Good body shot, that right hand. Sufi felt the weight of that, almost visibly winced. And again, and again. Yeah, Power he, shots to the body. He's not recovered from it either. Just see him tuck that left elbow in nice and tight to his ribs. Saunders is really trying to soften him up with these body shots. And the gloves came down fractionally, and the headshots make him pay, but there's the counter from a Sufi, but it's all Saunders. Sufi really struggling to get into this fight at all. Mightily impressive again from Billy Joe Saunders. Off of the chin there. Really fighter. And he's being put right through the ring here. And he's going to have to produce something completely out of the blue, unexpected to deny Billy Joe Saunders this world title. impression that a couple of those really started to take a toll. Yeah, there's a one started off there's a right hook to the body. Saunders is having to hold his own. Oh, Here it comes, two right hands. And Saunders backed onto the ropes from the Asufi corner suddenly getting very excited about that. Don't push him away, don't push. A little bit wobbly on the legs there, Saunders. Well, it's gone a bit quiet now. And Saunders wanting to skip away and stay away for a few seconds. And you, you sort of can't blame Billy, really, because you know, he's had everything all his own way, and he just walked right up to a Sufi because he was down to turn the screws on him. Well, I told you that a Sufi had power in that right hand, and it was shown. And he said, you know, the only chance he had, really, is if uh, Saunders used a little bit of concentration. A Sufi having been schooled for five rounds, suddenly has belief. People will not like this now with the movement of Saunders, but what all he's doing is just getting the life back into his legs. And that's the beauty of having good footwork. You can do this, you can dance around, take a breather. And it's, and it's not great to watch, but it, it just gets, it gets a bit of blood back into your legs, gets your head to clear. Get you fully recovered to go back to work. Saunders appears to have regained his composure. Sufi, though, is trying to step in behind that big right hook. There's a bit of a hush around the stadium. But, but Saunders got good footwork for sure, but Asufi was following around the ring. And he might have, he might, he might have lost that little window of opportunity he had there when he when he backed Saunders up. I don't know if Saunders had that lack, lack in concentration again. Should have jumped all over him, should have cut the ring off, but he hasn't got the, the intelligence to do it to Sufi. He has to power in the right hand for sure. But not enough thought behind, behind the process of home to get there. Saunders most anxious moment of the fight. How much will that dent? That armour of self-confidence. Gloves low and the right uppercut only just whistled past the end of his chin. It's going to be interesting to hear what Ben Davison 
is going to say to Billy Joe Saunders after this, and he will waste no time at all in getting up there into the ring. There he is. And now his metal will be tested. I think it was a shot just before that. It was the it? right hand off the ropes, yeah, wasn't it? Was, yeah. it. Well, Here, the first one. What do you want? I don't do a shoot Yeah, just caught him on the top of the head, just a little wobble of the legs there, and he hits him again. But again, luckily for Saunders, he's got good footwork, and he, could, he danced around the round. He didn't do anything after that, Saunders. Just took the round to recover, and that's, not a, that's a smart move. And he wasn't seriously... Oh, no, no, we seen him from the back of him, and he looked like he was in real trouble. I think, there, yeah, he's not seriously hurt, but he's, he, he, got, he got wobbled, Second he got out. stunned. Round seven. And again, a little lack of concentration because he's having everything all his own way. Just maybe, just making him realise he's still in a fight and he has to be fully focused. So you give that as a, a round then to a Sufi. I did, I just think Solis didn't do anything after that. He, ran, he did the right thing, run around, but you know, the, two, good, good, two good punches there from a Sufi, I think was enough. scoring the fight at this stage by five rounds to one for Billy Joe Saunders. But the first five rounds would, you know, could, you didn't, you didn't get caught with a punch, did he? I think there were two glancing blows in five rounds. the showboating for a little while at any rate. <laughs> well, I'm not sure about that. That's just in his nature, isn't it? I just think Cody thought he had... I thought he... he, he that Billy thought, so did we, to be honest, that he was going to get him out to there in the next round. He had him hurt a little bit under pressure in the, round, the previous round. Well, the, the body shots had certainly, had certainly got to him. And I think he softened him up and he was down to turn the screws and I just, just got, got caught, got clipped, put him forward. But it wasn't a flush shot, it was on the top of the head, he just made his legs do a little bit of a, a funny dance. <laughs> so if he will look to let that right hand go and go hard every time he gets the opportunity. Well, it gives the Sufi loads of confidence to commit himself. The, th the thing he wasn't doing for the first five rounds is committing to any attacks because he was made the miss and, and made and made a pay for the, for those mistakes, for the misses. But now he'll have a bit more confidence knowing that he can land. And that means he relax a little bit more because he's feeling confident and his punches will be a little bit sharper and faster. But he's still got to keep that pressure on so on if he can. If he left Saunders off the hook there, he, didn't, he followed him around the ring, didn't cut it off. Good shot there from Saunders, lovely. And again, that's spinning around the front foot. Oh, beautiful footwork again. certainly recovered his equilibrium. Terrific balance as well, Barry. Good round for Billy Joe Saunders. And goes a further round ahead. Saunders and Tyson Fury have spoken about how well Ben Davison reads fights. 
Yeah, he does. But more than that, he's nice and calm in the corner. He doesn't over, over, overstate anything, doesn't give you too much advice, gives you a couple of little snippets and keeps you nice and calm. And that's important. But however, however experienced you are, to have a calm corner and, and just a few, a few simple and easy instructions Second is all you need. Because you're thinking about your, th your own little things as you're in the corner anyway. So Saunders a long way ahead on points into the eighth round a 12 round of this the vacant wbo super middleweight championship of the world well i think like i said a few rounds earlier i think though to me saunders only loses if he makes a mistake to be honest and gets and gets tagged well it, <laughs> yeah it absolutely absolutely exemplified and underlined what you said But also, you can't blame him because he had, he had him on the rails a little bit. And you thought he was, you know, this is going to be the round that he was going to get him out to death. That's oh, lovely from Saunders. Nice and sharp. Sufi just trying to keep a tight guard when Saunders unloads. At least the Sufi's getting that front foot a little bit closer to the target now. So. If he doesn't snatch to the jab and he, and he really lets it flow, he might actually uh, land with it if he's lucky. But he, for, too, for too many rounds, when he did sort of let a punch go, his feet were too far away and he was overreaching. <laughs> nice shot, that's lovely from Saunders. Doubling up the left hand. Still keeping his gloves low though, Saunders, and the suit you'll see that as a target. You know what, this might be the perfect fight for Billy in many ways because what it shows is, again, to any super middleweight or middleweight, where he, wherever he lands, that he's a horrible man. He's a horrible man to fight. He's a puzzle. He's skillful. He's fast. He's slick. But also, as it's shown now, he can be tagged. If he gets tagged, he, he wasn't seriously hurt. I think it was over exaggerated. But he's like the little funny dance of some of the bigger punchers and more and better quality fighters will maybe fancy it. And that might help Billy get some of these fights that have eluded him in the past. Still, they talk about Canelo, about Golovkin, about Eubank, about Callum Smith. Well, they'll all be watching, thinking, oh, he's a nightmare, but also thinking, I can get if, this, if this fella can tag him, so can I. So, in many ways, it might do him a favour, that and there's like 10 seconds of, of, of lack of concentration, and that's all it was. That's a lovely jab. Sufi being bamboozled again in this round. Oh, fantastic from Saunders. And making him miss by a distance with that attempted right hand, right hook counter. Another clear, clear round for Billy Joe Saunders. Easy to forget that Ben Davis in his two years, Billy Joe Saunders Jr., <laughs> his coach. Look, look at that from Billy, though. You can see him looking for the shot, looking for the spot before he throws it. You can almost see his eyes like directly where he's going to throw the punch. And you can see he really thinks about it before he throws it. Sufi getting his words of advice from Horst Phillips in that corner. Round nine. He's going to have to knock Saunders out, you'd think, if he's going to win this fight. Barry with Billy Joe Saunders and anybody watching would have to concur in complete command. Apart from that one anxious moment in the sixth round. And even that round was close. Crowden 
I'm sure would like to see Saunders get a spectacular win. Maybe that anxious moment in the sixth round has just perhaps put a note of caution into the plans. I think I, I think a little, but it's also I think it's given him a, a, a bit of a better focus because he's I think he's boxing a little bit sharper than you know, I think he was holding his feet a little bit, and, and rightly so. And he's looking like he was he was putting a bit more weight than the shots, and but no, he's, he's looking sharper than he, than he did in the previous rounds. See, he doesn't rush his work, though, he's looking, he's just, he moves those shoulders and he's just thinking, where, where do I attack, what side do I attack, attack first? Saunders has gone the 12 round distance on 10 previous occasions. Sufi's only been 12 rounds once. Oh, lovely. Lovely footwork. side of the ring sat, sitting side by side both of them fairly relaxed now after those anxious moments in the sixth Thomas News heading off to the United States tomorrow Sufi, a little bit of a success, no weight in it though. If there is a bit of ring rust about Billy, not had a really a meaningful fight in, in over a year, then this will have done no harm yeah, at all. Yeah, sure, it's a good point, you almost forget about that, don't you? How long has been out. Saunders almost shipping a right hand there. Can't afford to get careless even at this late stage. Another round for Saunders. And another round by a comfortable margin. Yeah, it is easy when it does. Again, the way he spins on the target is just fantastic, it really is. Just getting a bit closer, there was one right hand which found the target. I know, and, but it's magnified because he's not getting hit. So in, a, in a normal real fight, you, you, would bet, you would just say, oh, that's a good shot, and that would be it. But in a fight like this, when he's, he's not taking any punches at all, it makes it seem like, whoa, hang on a minute. But it's, it's not a big deal, I don't think. I think he's boxing so well. Second out, round ten. Into the ten. A good night's work, well done so far from the home favourite. It is John, and I, I said he's boxing so well, but we have to say he's boxing so well against the guy who's way below his level. Let's, let's, let's be brutally honest. And that's because the Billy Saunders is, is one of the best fighters in the world, and that's and, and fair enough. But he's boxing the guy who's sort of made for him, and, and he'll just have just didn't have the, the, the ability really to be to match him for anything. It's good from Saunders. But you still got to do it. You know, when you and, and, and so many times you see boxers the go down to the level of, of their opponents. Hails from not too far away, Billy Joe Saunders. Hatfield, just down the road from Stevenage. Lovely feint there from Saunders there, that's lovely, it really is. Just needs to do something behind it. Oh, nice little right hand there from the Sufi. <laughs> Trying to tee off in that corner and Saunders making him miss repeatedly. He's doing a good job, Saunders, staying up, but he's headhunting a Sufi. Should be whacking our chest. There it is. 
want to stop the movement, just punch the punch on the chest to stop that movement. Kurt Pelligio had a word with him when he was trying to unload. <laughs> Doesn't speak a great deal of English. Based in Munich, Chef Atasufi. The footwork of that, and, and again, I could gotta go back to it. Oh, just it magnifies how important footwork is. Got a Sufi can't close the gap, just can't do it. But his feet are just uh, are just awful. They really are. You got power in our right hand, but if you can't get to the target, it's, it's just it's just a wasted weapon. If you can learn again, to... he's almost fallen in as he's tried to land it. Yeah, and if you can learn to click on those feet up, you know, get on the balls of his feet a little bit, and maybe just to get a bit of a bit of energy in his work, then I think he'd be a much better fighter for it. Well, it is now absolutely self-evident, unless Saunders gets nailed in the time remaining, he will be the world champion once again. <laughs> One-way traffic continuing. Another round, yet another round in the bag for Saunders. So we need to get out, yeah? Two rounds, two weights in our world champion. No silly risk. Just box sensible, box smart. Paint and reset to key, yeah? Just keep touching him up. Don't sit engaged and still in front of him. Very much the Ben Davison mantra, isn't it? Box your way, box your way. Bit of a cool joy, really, isn't it? Sensible. We, we don't want that. We want to see Billy go out there and take well, the we girls. Want, we want to see it, but it ain't going to happen. <laughs> As you said, unless he makes some real silly mistakes, he joins a very elite club in British boxing to become a two-way world champion. Sent out, round 11. 12 men, is it, who've been... World champions at two weights. It, it, again, you know, then, see how many world champions we, we had four world champions a years ago. Weight, I mean. Twelve is, is phenomenal. He's winning this oh, fight nice. by a long, long way. Just, just a little skip back there and doubling up with the jab there, Saunders. Probably people sitting at home saying, you know, why hasn't a Sufi gambled? Why doesn't he do this? Why doesn't he do that? Well, well I think he's tried. Well, to be honest, they, 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 have, they have a point, John, because at some point, at some stage, he hasn't had any success at all, and he sort of just stood in no man's land and waited for punches to rain down at him, hoping Billy makes a mistake like he did for one for five seconds in, in the what was it, the sixth round? He was on the canvas in his last fight to Sufi against a Frenchman, Mohamed Al Achi. Maybe a bit mindful of that. Perhaps he's not confident in his own ability to take a shot. I don't know. Yeah. Me. Well, no. I just think you know when you miss and get caught, it, it's it's frustrating and horrible. So you know you, you just tense up and then, and then everything's slower and, and easier to read. Chance got from his supporters for Billy Joe Saunders. No shot there from Billy. From Billy Joe. And the thing with the Sufi is that uh, Saunders has caught some good shots, but nothing has really shaken him up that bad. So you tend to think, you know, if the guy's not really, you know, every punch is not rocking to your senses, then have a go. No, because what are you going to do otherwise? Just, just stay for another four rounds and just be a, be a punch bag? So have, a, have a look, have a crack. Well, the clock is ticking. There's not long left to do it. out to be a very comfortable night's work indeed for Saunders. 
assume he can get through the three minutes, 20 seconds remaining. Well, this, Saunders hasn't shown us anything. He hasn't, we haven't learned anything new about Billy Joe, which is about Saunders, which is all we've seen is what we know. Great footwork, great vision, great timing, really fantastic boxer. Not a massive puncher, but can, but can punch hard enough to earn your respect and to stop you from walking through. One round remaining after this, and that's the best of the 11th. It's been an easy night's work. You see here, just an example. Just doing what he wants to do, when he wants to do it, Saunders. And I think he's enjoyed himself. It's good to be back. You know, it's another world title fight for him. It gives him another world title, almost certainly, unless he really, really falls off the, off the wagon here. Saunders puts Second his remote to Frank Warren. A more powerful bargaining position for those potential big nights ahead. We will see. see. It most certainly does. And, you know, and, like, and again, because he hasn't blasted this guy out of here and because he had like 10 seconds of a lack of concentration, I think it, it, it may be some of the guys who thought, I'm staying away from him because he's just a nightmare, will think, I can get to this kid. He might box my ears off for five rounds, but I can maybe get to him. But whether that, whether he can, I'm not quite sure. I think but, but he will only get better with the, with the opposition he faces for me. Oh, that's a beautiful, lovely work. That's fabulous. But I'm not sold on him as a super middleweight. If he can still make middleweight, I think that's where his future should lie for me. If you're a fan of the sweet science, then he's, he's just a joy to watch, he really is. Yeah, what you don't get is the barroom brawl. What you do get is some very, very yeah. sweet technicalities. It's, be it's beautiful to watch, it really is. And I'm a lover of, no, I'm a lover of, hand I'm a, an advocate of hands high, and I, I know Rishi is as well, but, you know, he couldn't box with his hands high. He couldn't do this with the, with the hands high. You can have him made to your chest high. He needs to have that looseness, the movement, and, it, and it's a beauty. It's a beauty to watch. It really is. Simply still, just trying to walk him down, following him round the ring. Hey, stop off him! But there, he should be there. He shouldn't be getting too close to the tiger there, Sufi. He should be rattling those punches off now. Moving now towards the last minute of the fight. I think Billy could have done, you know, could, could have been more adventurous at times, maybe, for this, you know, for this guy in the more pressure, like he looked like he was going to do in the fifth round. But what he's done, like he did against Lemu, he's listened to instructions in the corner. Different cornerman, he's listened to the instructions in the corner, and he stuck to a plan. And that discipline from Billy Joe Saunders is what was lacking sometimes in his career. So that, you know, the fact that he's back on track, that in that sense, is, is a real positive sign, I feel. Wanting to hold on, is he just is that starting to feel the pace in the last seconds of this round? Nice little uppercut from a Sufi. Saunders slips the punches and lands a sneak little uppercut off the ropes. Well, he's run a bit in this round, hasn't he, Saunders? Yeah, he's coasted his way through this last round, or at least tried to. Well, I'm making the Sufi miss by inches there in our first little attack. Last few seconds, and there it is, the final bell. And Billy Joe Saunders will be the new WBO Super Middleweight Champion of the World. Beyond question, tonight he was a different class. He was, and, and there's no surprise there, let's be honest. There was no surprise that he was, that he was the better guy on paper, he was the better guy, and it proved that in the ring, you know, in, in real terms. He, he danced around, he did what he wanted to do for most of the fight. He had like a 10 seconds lapse of concentration when he got tagged ever so slightly, he got knocked back again, went back to his boxing, 
which is a shame really because I think he was looking for the stoppage in, in that fifth round and going out in the sixth round he's looking like he was going to turn the screws and maybe get that stoppage would have really been the, you know, the, the, what he wanted that, that to show the world listen I'm, I'm a super really to go bang a bit now as well but for me as good as he was and as beautiful as he is to watch I would prefer him if he can make it get back on the middleweight to where he belongs well, where the bigger maybe, fights are, maybe. maybe. Except, except for Callum Smith, the bigger fights are down that middleweight. Well, maybe he is the, the natural middleweight. Perhaps that is where he is most comfortable. But he's won, yeah. and won by a long, long yeah. way. And the partnership, which worked so well for Tyson Fury with Ben Davison, has worked for Billy Joe Saunders as well. And from a coach's perspective, from Ben Davison, that's a, he's over the moon with his performance. He listened to instructions, he did what he was told, he didn't, he didn't over-engage when Ben Davison was saying, take your time. No, you'd be, if I was in the corner, I'd be saying, listen, you were perfect, punch perfect, your movement was fantastic. No, he, he, he spanned him a little dance there the Sufi at times he didn't know where Saunders wants and he, and, he, and he made the Sufi freeze from the first round to the last round chilly night in Stevenage but a happy man the local hero Billy Joe Saunders all smiles his two boys at ringside watching on so many of his friends and family we gave a Sufi just the one round I wonder if the judges will concur. The fighters now are with Marcus McDonnell, the referee, Thomas Triber, is poised. There's a whole host of people up there in the ring, but I think we can just about see Thomas to tell us how the judges have scored it. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Benoit Roussel scores it 120 to 108. Judge Matteo Montella scores it 117 to 111. And Judge Terry O'Connor scores it 118 to 110. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. And now the WBO Super Middleweight Champion of the World, Billy. One judge had it by complete shutout, 120, 108, 117, 111. Second judge finding a way to give his Sufi three. And the third judge, Terry O'Connor, 118, 110. But no doubting whatsoever who the winner is, Billy Joe Saunders. He's a world champion again, and his career is back on track.